place your bets. The Kentucky Derby is here, and some people in town may want to put their money on a Southern Arizona native. Trainer Bob Baffert is from Nogales. The U of A grad even sporting his school colors in an interview on ESPN today. Now your side's Whitney Clark joins us live. And Whitney, how is Bob expected to do tomorrow? Well, Baffert has two horses in the Derby tomorrow. American Pharaoh is favored to win, and he's not the only Arizona grad at the track. Representing his alma mater, Bob Baffert comparing his two Derby contenders to that other big fight tomorrow. I think American Pharaoh, he'd be hard to hit. He moves. He'd be hard to hit. Where Dartman, he'll take the hit and just come, just keep coming at you. Baffert and Todd Pletcher, both Arizona alums and trainers, set to be in the national spotlight tomorrow at Churchill Downs. This is the one day in racing where I think racing gets much more coverage, and therefore you got two of our superstars out there, so it makes us proud. Pletcher has three horses in the run for the Roses, and Baffert has two. They went through the racetrack industry program here at U of A. The school says it gives students like Hillary Neese unique hands-on experience. We talk about simulcasting contracts, which is when you bet tracks that are off-site. And then we also talk about unions and kind of how the day-to-day -day operation of the racetrack goes. As for the Kentucky Derby, director Doug Reed says his money on his fellow Wildcats. I like Baffert's and Pletcher's horses, so I probably need to use them a little bit. And probably as a long shot, maybe upstart or materiality in, in addition to using Todd's and, and Bob's horses. Well, Baffert has won the Derby three times. His horses, American Pharaoh and Dortmund, are the two favorites. Post time for the Kentucky Derby is a little after 3 p.m. Winnie Clark, Kiga 9 on your side. Now, your first warning weather with Chief Meteorologist Aaron Christensen. A Friday living up to its name with the warmest temperature we have recorded in almost seven months, 97 degrees. That now makes today the warmest day of the year so far. You have to go back to October 4th to find a time when Tucson was warmer. That was 98 degrees last year. And coming up, will this warm trend continue through our weekend? I'll let you know. Thanks, Aaron. In southern Arizona, there is a ballpark haunted with ghosts of baseball's past. Yeah, Bisbee's Warren Ballpark is the oldest active ballpark in the United States. Why it represents the best and worst of America's pastime and how its history transcends baseball. Sports director Jason Barr has that next. You're watching KGUN 9 on your side.